How do I talk about climate change to my brother-in-law, my neighbor, my colleague, my coworker? I hear this question almost every single day. And usually people have given it a try and it hasn't gone so well. It's either ended in an argument or it's been so depressing you just want to go back to bed and pull the covers back over your head. Here's the thing. Climate change is scary and it absolutely is depressing. I'm a climate scientist, so I know. But to care about climate change, we don't have to be a certain type of person. I'm absolutely convinced that just about every single person has every reason they need to care about climate change already. And their reason might be different than yours or mine. But if we don't think we care about climate change, it's not because we have to change who we are or what we care about. It's simply because we have not connected the dots between what we already care about and how climate change is affecting it. So when we have these conversations starting over something that we share, whether it's a love of cooking or a sport or the place where we live or our child, we connect the dots between climate change and how it's affecting what we already care about, what already matters to us. And then we talk about how we really can fix this thing. And in fact, climate change is not a giant boulder sitting at the bottom of a very steep hill with only a few hands on it. That giant boulder is already at the top of the hill. It's already rolling down the hill in the right direction. It already has millions of hands on it. It just needs more hands to get it going faster. When we realize that we are not alone, when we realize that the world truly can change, that's when we realize that yes, we truly can make a difference. And how do we knock over that first domino? By having a simple conversation about why climate change matters and what we can all do to help fix it.